Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna f***ing shit myself. Hola chicos! Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new around here, welcome. My name is Lois, and I am losing my f***ing mind. Okay, so let me explain a few few things really quickly. I have like 50 seconds. Today is the 11th of October and it is currently 3 p.m. Sydney time, Australian Eastern Standard Time, whatever you want to call it. And oh my god. Oh my god, I need to fucking screen record. Shit me on the fucking tit. How do I? Sorry, this video is a fucking mess. Harry Styles is about to release his new single and music video on YouTube. First new music in two years. I don't know what to do with myself. I'm shaking. This is too much. Harry Styles is doing- <laughs> Oh my god, I'm starting. Oh my god, I'm starting. Okay, it's an ad. It's an ad. <laughs> oh my god, 50 seconds. Oh my god. This bitch is doing too much. Like, most artists just release a song. Like, hey everyone, I'm releasing a song on Friday. Like, enjoy. This motherfucker tweeted one word and then sent us on a fucking Pokemon Go hunt for his posters around the world. By the way, there was one in Marrickville, Sydney, which is like close to where I live, so I went to go see that and I vlogged it, which is live on my channel and it'll be linked in the description. So go check that out after you watch this video. Five, four, three. Oh my god, I can't. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's naked. Oh my god, he's having an orgy. Oh my god. Sweating. I need to take this off. First of all, what the f oh That was too much. That was too fucking much. It's something to release a song that good, but then the video, the facial expressions, the pitch. Harry's a deep voice kind of guy. And that whole song was literally in like falsetto or soprano, whatever it's called. The one that's high pitched. And he just like really had to do us dirty like that. To me, this song was a big fuck you to anyone that ever said that he wasn't talented or that like he didn't have variety in his tone. I think he just proved he does. <sighs> what the f do I do with my life now? Like, where, what happens now? Where do I go from this? Besides sitting here for the next 12 hours straight and just re-watching the video. Apart from that, how do I go on with my life? I don't know what to say or do or... I don't know how to breathe properly. I've never reacted to music before and I feel like everyone's gonna be like, oh my god, you're being so dramatic. But this is me being undramatic. <laughs> Off camera, I'm probably gonna f***ing lie on the floor and just cry. I'm gonna listen to it again and watch it again off camera and then I'll come back and like have a mental breakdown part two. Two hours later. I am speechless. Oh my god. I just noticed at the end, I'm not screen recording anymore, so I'll have to show you guys. That's fing Spanish. And to think I couldn't love this man anymore. This too much. Okay, so here are my takeaway points. I am completely and utterly and wholeheartedly in love with this man. With this man. No other man could ever make me feel the way he does. Sorry, fellas, that's just the truth. 
Let's talk about the song and the video objectively, which is gonna be really hard for me. But pretend I wasn't a Harry Styles fan. Oh my god, couldn't even imagine. But hypothetically, let's just pretend I wasn't. I watched the video out of curiosity. What would I think? I would think that it was very different to like the 1D kind of vibe. Obviously, that goes without saying. 1D went on a break four years ago now, so obviously they've grown up and changed a lot. I would say it's a very different style as well to what he's done recently. If you think of something like Sign of the Times, that almost gives off a vibe of like anguish and like wanting to spread a message. And that was very successful in doing so, but I think this is more just like, this is who I am now, these are the experiences that I've had, this is how I want to represent and share those experiences. You can either take it or leave it. This is my art, this is who I am, and you either love me or you don't, but I don't really care either way. That's what I'm kind of getting from this. You know, he's dancing around, he's doing all these like sexual moves in a room full of practically naked males and females, which for him being from like, you know, a boy band, pop star, whatever, for him to then come out and be like, this is my new brand, a lot of wits would say like, oh, he's gay, oh, he's whatever. But he's just himself. He's just like, I'm gonna share this with you purely because of the fact that I'm so comfortable with myself or my sexuality or whatever that I can share it and not give a f what anyone says about it. So that's my opinion on the whole video. It was just incredible. It was like, I don't know if you guys have ever seen that movie Nerf, but it just made me get those vibes of like a young person. Obviously, as I said, he's in like South America or something because it says Policia Municipal. He's just like exploring. He's enjoying the fruits of the world. He is just f***ing living La Vida Loca. He's having fun with whoever it may be, whatever they may identify fight as. He's sharing a little bit of heartbreak and a little bit of like mid-twenties crisis kind of situation. Like do you know who you are? The darkness of my heart. This is just me like picking up on little bits of the lyrics obviously only having heard it twice. But I think it's just f***ing spectacular. In terms of the vocals and the lyrics and everything I already kind of touched on the lyrics. The ones that I did pick up on were just so Harry. But it's so funny because being a stan like I read his Rolling Stone interview. I follow pretty much everything he does and so we see him grow in a kind of private limelight where he is sharing himself with everyone that wants like get to know him if you will but obviously not everyone is gonna bother reading a really long Rolling Stones article about him like not everyone's gonna do that so for us we know these things about him like we know that he's had a bit of a like coming of age realizing who he is as a solo artist as a mid-twenties person as a guy who kind of has a bit of an ambiguous sexual identification for people that don't know him that hear this song on the radio or whatever you know what I bet a lot of people are gonna be surprised that this is something that Harry Styles would release for us it's not a surprise we're like yes bitch go off but for other people this song doesn't fit into the category that they would have put Harry Styles into he just does it again and again I don't know how he just never sees his to amaze me and like sign of the times was so good in this category and lights up is so good in this category they're so different but so similar they're just so unique and telling of harry as a person and like the vocals i would like to talk about for a second harry has always been the like deep voice member of one direction i don't know the technical terms for like having a deep singing voice but he's always been that person and then now he's coming out and he's showing his versatility. He is showing his f***ing talent. To be able to achieve something of this calibre, I'm just so proud. I will be listening to this song on motherfucking repeat, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't already, go stream Lights Up. Go watch the music video. It is incredible. I'm not even crying. I thought I was going to cry. But I'm just so happy for him. Like, he's exploring himself. He's exploring his sexuality. He's exploring his life. I'm just so happy! Sorry, I had to turn my lights off because my camera was overheating. Another thing I just wanted to say was that this, to me, is so different from the last album because the last album was like quite like grungy, a bit of rock and roll going on there. Like still pop rock, like not full on heavy metal, but it was more towards the rock end of the spectrum than the pop. And it was quite like, 
I want to say a little bit sad. Songs like Two Ghosts, Sweet Creature, obviously Sign of the Times, like to me kind of has that sad vibe about it. Whereas this is like almost going back to the pop route. A little bit alternative, a little bit indie, a little bit old school, a little bit of fucking r and I don't know if you guys heard, let me play this for you. Do you know what I mean? Not necessarily R&B, but it's that little bit of like grit to it. Ah! I'm manic right now. I'm just, I'm so proud of him. I f***ing love this song. It's always a bit of a worry when one of your faves releases new music. I'll be honest, when I first heard Sign of the Times, obviously I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it instantly. I was kind of like, this is different. It's cool, but it's unusual. I need to get into it a bit more. I need to listen to it a few more times. This, I'm like straight off the bat. This is my type of music. Little snippets of each genre just kind of mesh into one. It's unique, it's personal. I just... I love it! Which doesn't normally happen for me, like with any song I listen to by any artist. All these people that I really, really love, they don't always hit the nail on the head with their first single that they release off the album. I am obsessed. I seriously love it. I just feel like if we keep going up from here, this man is gonna do things to me. I'm gonna end up in the hospital or something, I swear to God. My poor kitty is just sitting here trying to have a nap and I'm screaming about a man she doesn't even know exists. I should probably end this video now. That was incredible. I am going to listen to it for the next probably 48 hours straight. It's a f***ing masterpiece. I don't care if you don't like Harry Styles. You need to go listen to this song. You need to broaden your horizons. You need to open your mind and let it be blown. I've pretty much reverted back to the state of being speechless. I just watched it again. We do not deserve Harold Edward Styles. That is all. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, whether you're a Harry Stan or not. And I hope you can all appreciate good music and talent when it presents itself, regardless of who by. Please make sure to leave this video a huge thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe if you haven't already and all that jazz. And I will be seeing you guys very, very soon. Best believe I will be filming my reaction to the album when it comes out. And if there's other singles, and obviously I'll react to those as well. If you want me to react to them with my friend Imogen, then let me know down in the comment section below. Oh my god, take a shot for every video that I say this in. But my camera just died. So yeah, I was just gonna say one last time, thank you very much for watching. I'm in love with Harold Edward Styles, and that's all. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Ciao!
what just happened? That was a lot. Wow, that was amazing. I can't believe that just happened. I have to watch it again and again and again and again. That was not what I was expecting, but it was like much more than I was expecting. That was everything I could have ever wanted. I can't wait to hear the next album. I can't. I mean, this is only the first single. I cannot wait. I'm speechless. I'm like, I'm just like completely speechless right now. I just, I can't even.